overheard Sholin talking to someone on the phone. You know. He was forcing her to meet him. At first she refused to meet him. But she ultimately agreed. She must have gone to meet him. This must be the mystery man. Stop thinking about your ex-husband all the time. And also don't ever try to see him again. What is it, Sherlin? Are you really still keeping in touch with your ex-husband after everything? Can I ask you a question? All right. What do you... you like about Sherlin, my child? I mean, I would have been happier if you chose Preeta instead. I also wish that I chose Preeta instead of her, Granny. Hold on. Make up all the stories you want, but I will not believe a single one of them. And yes, seeing as you are fussing so much, Maybe you're jealous of these boys because I've received proposals from such great suitors. You've arrived at just the right time. Yes. The suitor will be I'm here never any late. moment. And here is your beautiful bride to be. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Our son is here. <laughs> <laughs> here comes the fool. Who is he? He does not look like a fool. Who is he? Yes, he is very handsome. Good body too. Huge biceps. Good personality. Your plan is failing, hmm? Keep quiet. Either he has gone mad, or I have. What does he mean? Does he mean that he doesn't want me to marry someone because he wants to marry me? That's why he's so furious with me. Sherlin is fasting for reshub. He called me earlier. He's worried. Sherlin is not well. But she is saying that she is not going to end the fast, despite being so unwell. This might all be part of her master plan. She wants to win over all of my family members. By pretending to be perfect, Preeta. Both of us want to expose her, but she's not naive. And she's doing everything that she can. She's cunning. All right, listen to this. When I was walking past Aunt Karina's room, I heard Sherlin talking to someone on the phone. If you don't come here to break my fast, there will be a heavy price to pay. Because I have only endured this fast for your own sake. And this time, we will succeed. Baby, the moon is risen. How long will you keep hiding? You should also come out. Wait. I don't get it. Why did she pick up the mesh? Rishab is not even near her. Yes, Rishab is not here. Who is she praying for? Did you see that? Sherlin, she is, is looking at the waiter. He's also smiling at her. That must mean that... Don't you understand what that means? That means he's her lover and he's in disguise. Let's catch them red-handed and expose them. I think Sherlin has come back home, Karan. We haven't found any proof yet and she's definitely going to catch Shh, us. Don't panic, someone might hear. Wait a second, hold on. If it's Sherlin that's here, then why isn't she calling out my name like always? I should go and have a look. Ah! Oh! That sound, it means that Sherlin's boyfriend, he must be here. Sherlin, babes? Is it you? Did you hear that sound? Did somebody call you? No, Richard, why? I didn't hear anything. I just heard someone's voice. Someone was calling you and that person called you by your name. Uh, no, Richard. I never heard anything at all. But maybe you didn't notice anything because you're not feeling well. <sighs> no, Rishab. We are the only ones here. So who would call out my name? I don't know. We have confirmed with our family priest. And we have a lot of trust in him. We have always trusted the advice that he gives us. So I told him that Prita and Prithvi will be getting engaged. And he assured me that they'll have a very happy married life. But 
They'll have to get married tomorrow. What? I've made a mistake. I just really hope that Karan and his driver don't tell anyone about what happened. Hello. Oh, where do you think you're going? We... We... Granny, we... We're just going to fix her scarf. I'll do it. No. Um, I mean that she thinks that I'm a servant, so that's why she wants me to solve all these problems for her. Keep it up. Enjoy your drink. What was that? What? Why are you so annoyed? What is the matter now, Prita? Oh, Prithvi is allowed to fix your scarf with his soft hands, but you won't let me. Come with me. What? Karan, but listen. Please don't do this, Prita. Prithvi is not worthy of you. Do not marry him. Call off the ceremony. I'd like to ask you something, if you don't mind. Sure. How exactly do you know Pritvi? I am only asking you this because I just met Pritvi and after meeting him, I felt rather unsettled. Spot on, Rishab. I felt the same after meeting him. Unsettled. So you agree with me then? Well, Rishab, do you know what matters? The fact that both of us got a strange feeling after meeting him must mean there's something fishy about him. Correct. Just watch what happens when I tell everyone the truth. You'll see. Shameless. <gasps> as long as I am alive, you will not succeed with this plan of yours. Mark my words. There is a storeroom next to their dirty kitchen. We'll take her body and put it in there and set the storeroom on fire. People will think that something from the kitchen must have caused the storeroom to catch fire. Aunt Junkie must have died in the fire. That's it. Fantastic idea. Sherlin, I think this idea will definitely work. It is far too risky to stay here any longer. I should get out of here now. No. I will have to save Prita from this fire. Oh. <gasps> the door is blocked off now. When it comes to Rishab and Karan, I just, just hate them. Prita is the cause of all the problems that we now face. And they went inside to save her. Soon, I will teach Karan and Rishab a lesson. Junkie? Go on, call the Junkie? doctor. She should regain consciousness in the morning. So there's a 60% chance she'll regain consciousness? That's concerning. Because if we do get caught, we will be in very big trouble. The risk is too big. Let's go. B -b baby, I'm, I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. P baby, please tell me you still love me, huh? You're my life. You're my special and most precious gift. I love you, baby. Rishab and Preeta have no idea what I'm capable of. I don't play around. I'm the real deal. Mom? Shruti? Prita? Prita, what Mom? happened? Why are you shouting? Quickly. Is everything come. okay? Hurry Tell up. me what's come, going Mom. on. What, Prita? What's wrong? Look at this. The door was open. Who left it open? Shruti, did you leave it open like this? I didn't, I promise. I'm sure the burglar is somewhere inside this house. Okay then, I will sit here with Aunt Junkie for a little bit. Don't forget how much I love you. I love you much more than you love me, Punu. I will see you there. Bye. Punu. 
Looks like she's going to see her boyfriend. I won't let them get away with this. I will catch them red-handed. You keep bragging about yourself, but you are not capable of doing anything. You just... Just be quiet! Aunt Sarla hasn't called me yet. She must be busy with something. But if I want to expose Pritvi, I cannot wait any longer. I have to think of some way to call them out here right now. Yes, well, she left in a hurry, you see, then. I will call her right away. I don't know why she didn't call me. No, aunt. How could she have called you, actually? She had an accident. Mom, we were at the reception. But I cannot see Karan. Where is Karan? Oh, there he yes. is. Yes. Karan. Karan, where is she? There was no accident. Why did you lie to us? Was it just to make us come over here as quickly as we could? What is your reason? Pritvi. I saw Pritvi with another woman. Whoever's inside there, please come out now or I'll break down the door. Okay, fine. Ending my engagement with Preeta as of right now. Aunt, I've always had so much respect for you. But after the way that you insulted me today, I won't be able to accept you as a mother-in-law. Well, Preetfi has called of the engagement. <laughs> Baby, do not worry. Because I'm still going to marry Preeta. I'm just waiting for them to apologize for every single thing that they've done to me. That's all. That's not true. Pritvi has not run away. You just want him to run away, don't you? You know why? Because you are extremely jealous of him. Maybe that's why I started believing Pritvi was that bad. If that is the case, then I am responsible for what happened to Preeta and her family. I'll make everything right. I'm sorry. Everything happened because of a big misunderstanding, so it was not their fault. How did we even become friends? Dr. Duffer. I'm sure she must think that I did all this for Aunt Sarla. I mean, how do I tell her that I don't ever want to see her sad? So I apologize to Pritvi for her. I only did this so that all of them can live their normal lives. Unbelievable. Listen, Sarla. Wow. Can you believe Junkie just moved a little bit? What? She even opened her eyes for a while. Let's go and see oh, her. Come on. Come on. Come on. Quickly now. You promised that you would take care of everything over here. Don't worry. You told me that nothing will go wrong and you said that you were very intelligent and no one can beat you, huh? It's easy to brag, but you can see what's happening. She's still alive, just, just look. Just keep quiet. Sherlin, I'm already furious. Do not push me. Don't make me more angry. How dare you? How dare you talk to me like that, huh? No one would ever dare talk to me in that tone. Do you understand? And no one gets away with being rude to me. The first thing that we need to do is find out more about Pritvi and discover who he really is and what he's hiding. Once we know that, we'll have answers to all our questions. Oh no, it seems like our enemies have started catching on to us. Those two brothers are trying to ruin the most important plan of our lives. Never mind. God is with the two of us. Nobody can cause any harm to us. In any ways, the only woman who knows the truth about us has lost her memory. God, please, make sure that luck continues to smile on us. So listen to me, very carefully. I'm going to go and kill Junkie right here at this party. Those two do not ever leave Junkie alone. How am I supposed to murder her? I'm in love with Sherlin and not with Preeta. And you see, Sherlin loves me, not Rishabh. This is such a serious betrayal. Well, enough is enough now. 
I'll have to tell Preta everything I know about that disgraceful man. I'll have to expose Pritfi and Sherlin for who they really are in front of everyone. Come back! Junkie!